Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share quite a fun video of me rediscovering the um, old Sylvanian items that I had. Um, if you watch my first video you'll know that I previously collected Sylvanians when I was a lot younger um, and I had a few pieces in storage basically at my uh, parents old house which has now been sold um, and therefore those kits and sets are now with me um, and that's what ignited my love or rekindled my love if you like for Sylvanians. So I thought before I go into each one individually and video that because I want to get them all set up um, and just get them out really and have a look see what I've got. Um, I thought I'd just share the pieces that I do have so let's just get into it. So to start off with and also note to my previous self when I was what between the ages of 10 and 15 I'm very grateful to that girl that was organized as a child because I kept the boxes. So first thing I have is the Watermill Bakery um, and this I believe was from 2008. If I'm looking down here it's because I've got the um, Sylvanian Collector website with all of the dates when things came out. Um, if you don't know of the website, 100% would recommend visiting it. Um, it's a really great resource for collectors um, as everything on there is itemised and dated and it's just brilliant. So this is the Watermill Bakery and I also do have the little um, squirrel. Is he a squirrel? I think so. He must be a, a, a grey squirrel, um, Christopher Apple Blossom. I've got him just here, so I'll grab him quickly. And he's got his little bakery apron on. Uh, this is the outfit that he came in. He doesn't actually come with um, any alternative clothing, but this is just a, um, like you can take it off. And then underneath he's got the normal sort of dad outfit. Oh, it's got a bit of fluff on him. There we go. Like that. So, yeah. And actually, he wasn't kept in the box with the kit. He was kept in um, a little box that I had all of my figures in. And he's fared really well. Like, he's not got any sort of um, bits missing or anything like that. I think they all need a bit of um, a brush. Um, they're a bit dusty and whatnot. But he's actually made it really in good condition so I'm really chuffed about that so yes this kit came out this set came out in uh, 2008 I believe um, and it is the watermill bakery I'll just show you the box so the wheel actually turns um, and when you turn the wheel it turns the bit inside the bakery and um, that makes the bread dough mix um, and it's got the oven there you can see him putting the bread in and taking it out I think are they croissants yeah and then there's a big picture on the back of what it looks like inside. There's a grandma bunny coming in. And then on the other side, you've got just a couple more pictures. I think they're repeats of the pictures that are around the box. So it says on here, turn the water wheel and watch the dough being mixed. So yeah, like I said, it um, operates inside and it says on the back here Christopher Apple Blossom is the baker getting up early each morning to bake fresh bread for the inhabitants of Sylvania the dough mixer for his bread is driven by the watermill this saves Christopher a lot of work using old family recipes and the finest ingredients not only does Christopher produce the most wonderful tasty bread he also fills the bakery with delicious fresh baked smells so I love that oh there's a bit of dust on there that's gone right up my nose but yeah these have been kept um pretty decent i mean the box is a little bit mucky there a little bit dusty um i'll try and give that a wipe see if it's okay oh yeah it says includes gray squirrel figure so he is a gray squirrel so yeah i was really happy to find that um and also I do believe that all of the pieces are in there. I have had it out um, since I bought it home um, and just given it a sort of look over. 
and I do believe all of the pieces are in there and they've been kept in um, like sandwich bags. So I'm excited to go into a bit more detail um, in that in another video. So I hope you would like to see that. So next up, the other um, one of the other sets I have is this one, which is the St. Francis Schoolhouse and Library. I can remember many, many hours of fun spent playing with this. Um, this has probably got to be my favourite um, Sylvanian set of all time um, that I can remember obviously playing with. Um, it's just a classic really and I was so happy to find it um, back at my dad's before I bought it here. So yeah, the, the lid of the box was actually open um, and the stuff inside was sort of poking out but everything is in there including all the little books and all the chairs and desks for the school so I was really happy about that. So let me just have a look on the website and we'll see what that says about when that came out. Okay, so normally they are released in Japan first and then they come over here. Um, so I think that's what happened with this one. Okay, yeah, the UK version was released as the village school in 2001 without the library tree. Um, but when did that one come out? Okay. So the Japanese edition came out in 1997, so really early on, um, particularly for me, I was born in 93, so I would have been uh, four when that was released. Um, obviously, I don't live in Japan <laughs> and we didn't have easy access to Japanese stuff either, um, what with the internet and that. I don't even know how my parents bought toys back then. Um, it's obviously a lot easier now. Um, but yeah, so from what I can understand, this was um, around sort of early 2000s. So I would imagine this probably came into my life around 2002. Um, I don't know the exact release date for this in the UK. Um, so I may be wrong, but Given that this is potentially almost 20 years old and the box looks like this, I think I've done pretty well to keep it nice. So I will show you around the box. And like I say, I will do a separate video um, on each of these because I just think it would be really fun. Um, so that's the front there. I just love this library. Um, so it's got an upstairs and a downstairs um, and you can put all the books in there and it comes with loads of books as well. And that's on the other side. So it's the, the main schoolhouse and the library section you get. And then at the back, there's a better view of the inside. I love it. I would have loved to go to a school like that. <laughs> and then there's pictures um, of all of the bits and bobs that come with it. Interestingly as well, it also shows that you can put a um, house on top, which is interesting. Um, I didn't have any houses back then. What does it say? Oh, the cardboard orchard cottage can be placed on top of the school to create extra, extra floors or a home for the school teacher. So it was made of cardboard, that cottage, that one there. And that's orchard cottage. Interesting. Well, there you go. This set didn't come with any figures. Um, it was just the school and the library. And I think this was a Christmas present, but I remember, like I said, me and my sister getting hours and hours of fun out of that one. So I was really happy to find that in such good condition. So moving on, I've got a couple of little bits. Um, this could do with a wash or a wipe down. There's a bit of like crayon mark on the back, but it is actually the toilet set um, that opens up. I think, um, I don't know if this goes with the school, but we bought it to go with the school. Um, we had a little toy shop in our town where we grew up and I remember uh, myself and my sister getting this for 
you know, to put with the school because we thought it would be handy for the children to have a toilet. Um, so yeah, that was a little piece that was just sort of sat on the top of the box. Um, so it's nice to find that again. And likewise, I also found this tiny little crib or cot and it's got the classic sort of pull down. Oh, the sun's right in my eyes. Sorry, I hope that's not too dark now, but it's reached that weird point in the afternoon where the sun is really low and it's just so bright, it almost instantly started crying. Um, but yeah, so I was showing this little cot um, with the little fold down side there. And actually, luckily enough, it still has the little cover and whoops, the little teddy pillow. So I was happy to find that. The only thing that would indicate to me how old this is, is that it's um, got, is it epoch or epoch? I don't know, you, you won't be able to see that, but it's printed on the side. Um, I know a little bit about the history of who made Sylvanians at what time. I know it started off being epoch and it is them again now. It went to Tomy and Flair in between. Um, so I can imagine this is probably quite old. Um, it is a little bit damaged um, or stained, if you like. I'll show you at the bottom there. Is it a bit mouldy? I don't know. I'm going to see if I can clean it up. Um, but actually, little cots like this aren't like easy to come by, surprisingly, because I was looking at um, getting one for some of my new bits, um, but I could only find one that came with a chocolate rabbit um, baby, and I already have a chocolate rabbit baby so I didn't want to get that one um, and also it was all one colour whereas this one I really like it's blue here and green at the back with the little pink bits at the top and the little yellow cover and pillow so if I can clean that up I'm definitely excited to use that in my new houses so yeah that was a couple of little bits and bobs next up for big stuff you have to excuse me you must have been around here <laughs> is the classic caravan and pony so this is the Romany caravan this is obviously the newer version we did have the original version and um, I have got it on my iPad here the details so the original pony stuff had a makeover apparently in early 2004 um, which probably ties up as to when we would have got this. I think this would have been probably a Christmas present or a birthday present. Um, and this came with Bramble the Pony, which is the little pony you can see. And if you can remember, or if you might have had the original uh, Romany Caravan, I think it had a green roof. This one obviously has a red roof. And we actually got the original one from a boot sale. Um, I remember it was probably about five pounds or something ridiculous, but it wasn't in very good condition. So I don't think, unfortunately, that's made its way um, through to still being around now. So it's a shame that we don't have that anymore, but I'm glad that the one we do have is in such perfect condition in its box. So again, I'll just show you the box. I think this was exclusive to the UK, this particular set. And I'll show you the side. That's it at night. Um, the actual little lantern does light up. I've had it out and tried it, but I think it needs new batteries. And then that's the back. So some really good little pictures there of everything all set out. And I think most of the pieces are still in here as well. And there's another little picture on the side so i love this this is just to me this is classic sylvanians i know it's the new version of it but i just love it so what has it got it's got an exterior working lantern and an interior working lantern as i say i think that needs a battery so hopefully i can dig one out when i set that up comes with a ladder and bucket trapdoor storage inside um, a toilet oh yeah the toilet sort of pops out whoops <laughs> pops out of a little cupboard it's really good um it gets gets it comes with an adjustable ladder so they can reach to get into bed um because these little bits fold down to beds so that's really cool and it comes with bramble 
and it says Bramble is such a slow coach and no matter how much you encourage him to pull the caravan, he still plods along at the same old pace. In fact, some of the Sylvanians think that he is so slow he should have been called Ramble rather than Bramble. Oh, but he's cute anyway. Let's see if he's in here. If he is, I'll uh, show you. I think he's in here. I always thought it was a girl. Bramble sounds like a girl, doesn't it? Oh yeah, here we go. Right on the top there. I recall we had a few Sylvanian ponies that were obtained from boot fairs back in the day and they most certainly did not have such neat hair. <laughs> they were very ratty. Um, but like I say, I think they have passed on, if you like, um, and not made their way to me. It's in good condition. I mean, there's a few little like, it's obviously it's been played with. Um, I remember playing with this set quite a lot, but their legs move and the head moves. And they're, um, the pony is made out of the same, it's like a Sylvanian, what is it called? Flocking. I think so they're the same texture that's the word I was after so love that oh and also whilst I'm in this box I will show you the only car I have and it's I think it's actually a wedding car I really love this car and it's from the Urban Life collection. So I know that's quite an early piece. Um, not sure on the date, haven't looked it up and um, just happened to find it in this box. But I think it's a little bit yellow and um, possibly sort of sun damage over time. But I know it's meant to be cream anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I think that's such a lovely car. Um, yeah, very, very happy with that. Oh, whilst I'm in here, actually, this was um, a bridle. Is it a bridle? It's reins, isn't it? And the bit that goes over their nose, I don't know what it's called. I don't really know about horses. <laughs> um, this was from the original uh, pony that we had. So that's just in there. And I actually have the receipt. Oh, I remember getting this now. I remember getting this. We bought this with Christmas money and we went to the toy shop and here's the receipt. We took £40 with us, it cost £39.99 and we got to pennies change and we bought that on the 8th of, oh, the 8th of September. So maybe it was birthday money because my birthday's in August, 2007. So there you go, £40 in 2007 would have got you this beautiful caravan and pony set. Interestingly enough, the um, price is on the Watermill Bakery here, and that was $32.99, which is an absolute steal <laughs> for that bakery, in my opinion. Right, I will put that all back together later, but I've got one more box to show you. And this is my oldest, probably worse condition as well unfortunately item and it is the harvester restaurant but again it's in its box so that's a good thing the majority of the pieces are also in here i think they're in a little tupperware box i'll have a little look they are indeed oh we've also got in here a very very old bunk bed so this is way back when the majority of the Sylvanian's furniture was this green colour. So that's very old. Um, I'm not sure if I will use that. But love it. And a little cushion. So that's that. Oh yeah, here we go. All the pieces oh, are in this box. There are probably some other little bits and bobs in there as well. But this comes with the little papers as to how you put it all together. Does it say when this was made? It doesn't. So if you don't know, if you're not from England or the UK, Harvester is a restaurant um, that we have. 
it's just sort of an average sort of family kind of restaurant um we used to go there a lot when i was younger it was the place to go for like birthday parties or sort of family gatherings like it was good for the little kids and it was good for the nans and granddads as well um so we used to really enjoy going to the harvester unfortunately i've been recently in the last couple of years and it's not the same anymore but anyway this helps me to remind myself what it was like when it was good um so this is the harvester restaurant i will get this out again in a separate video but i'll just show you the box for now that's it all set up inside and that's it there oh don't want to get the glare it's a very simple set as you can see it's a tomi it's made by tomi so it's quite early on i did have the thingy up here Doo -doo -doo. released in 1994 i believe yep released in 1994 this is the uk version of the forest restaurant it's the exact same shape and like pieces and everything as the forest restaurant that came out in japan in 93 which is when i was born so it's a very old kit we got this at a boot fair again i think it was something ridiculous like five pounds um it's not in the best shape it is a little bit sort of um ropey in places i will show you obviously in detail when i get it out um but just to show how old it is there's actually a sticker on here so if you were buying this in the toy shop there was a thing on here that said free meals for children at a real harvester restaurant offer closes the 30th of september 1997 so that just shows how old this is and for it to still be in its box and have the majority of its pieces with it i'm really chuffed with that yeah so i love it it doesn't really say anything about it on the box it's very simple um you can see the bears in there the otters are in there and this is that a pig or a boar i'm not too familiar with the old families but yeah what fascinates me the most is looking back at these old pieces and just seeing what they did look like and what they now look like and how they are so similar so if you look for example at some of the like cookware you could put that in your modern sylvanian homes and it wouldn't look out of place because the attention to detail has always been there and that's why i love it that's one of the things i really really love um about collecting because it's never gonna get old um and yeah that is all the bits that i have all of my original bits and i am looking forward to filming a video showing in more detail i might do a sort of rediscovering or an unboxing of each piece and get it out and show you all the pieces um and show you um probably some of my old sylvanians as well like my old families um because yeah it's just fun to rediscover things isn't it and whilst i'm adding to my collection with new stuff which i of course will share as well it is fun to have a look back at some of the older things that we just can't get anymore um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you're having a lovely weekend um if you're in the uk have a lovely bank holiday monday tomorrow um I love a three day weekend. Who doesn't love a three day weekend? So yeah, it's been really nice to share this with you. Um, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a comment. I love getting comments on these videos. It's just fun to talk to other people about Sylvanians. I love it. So yeah, have a good one and I will catch you next time. Bye.